Bayanan. Yes, hi, mayong hapon kaninyong tanan. This is the Life Changing Radio 98.7 DYFRFM. Gail here, welcome now to the program Pinoy Sessions, your daily dose of Pinoy encouragement. It's a Monday once again, October 2, 2017. Pasalamat sa ginoo sa lain na pong higayon na kita magkauban karong hapon As always, atong punun sa pagdasig ang kahanginan as we bring you another lineup of inspiring OPM. So in pang Maghatag yun yung kadasig diha ni mo, especially sa imong uh, pagtiwas, sa imong mga buhatunon. Just go on with uh, whatever you're supposed to do and I'll be right here to uh, keep you company in the next two hours. So kung napakay mga kailang o pumakahibawon sa DYFR, go ahead, invite them to uh, tune in as well. Let's start off with these songs. Manlalaban by the staunch band Dot PH, followed by the Rama Band for Kasaligan. Check your time, it's now 1.32 in the afternoon. Sa kani anto karon sa umaabot siya nagpapili na yun sa katuigan sa kasaysayan siya walay pagkapukan labing gamhanan ubus sa kada ugan. Sa tanan nga kaliwatan Ngalan niya pagayukuan Sa tanan nga kabanayan Simbahon siya o alagaran Kay siya ang dalan Kinabuhi ka matuuran Ang kasumbungan Sa tanan nga kagulanan kay si Jesus Baglaon tao gatong manlalaban Sa kabukiran Kapatagan o kadagatan Ang iyang alam Labang nga mapasidong
How did the broadcast of DYFR affect you personally? Did you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in response to the broadcast? Have you been encouraged to draw closer to God after listening to the programs? Share with us your testimony. Email your story at mailbox.dyfr at febc.ph. Message us on facebook.com forward slash 98.7 DYFRFM. Text us at 0919-4921939. Or call us up at 254-1714. Your story will surely be a blessing to all of us. Patapatan by Joni Villanueva. Matinud anon yun ang atong ginoo o mauni ang usa sa daghan ka ayong mga buta nga angay na tong uh, pasalamatan diha niya. Usahin no tungod sa mga problema, sa mga kakulian, mga ginagmayman o madaggo, matabunan ang atong uh, mga mata sa daghang mga buta nga, nga angay uh, untang pasalamatan sa Dios. So today and every day, let's uh, make it a habit to uh, thank the Lord for who He is as well. Usahin ang atong pasalamatan ra ang iyang gipang buhat sa atong kinabuhi. But we can all, always thank Him for who He is. Kung kinsa siya sa atong uh, kinabuhi. No? Siya ang atong manuluwa, siya ang atong nalaban siya ang atong dalang panan siya matinud ano no so those are 
are just some of the things na we can thank him for sa matag adlaw. Alright, welcome again to Pinoy Sessions on 98.7 DYFRFM. This is an FM station of FEBC Philippines, a member of the KBP. Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. Dagan kayong salamat for allowing me to uh, spend time with you this part of the day sa mga first time na minaw karong hapuna via air daily from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. Philippine time. Ugma taghapon, we bring you inspiring OPM. So, inaot pa, sinugdanan lang ni sa atong panag-uban matagahapon. And uh, do know that the week are heard online. That's over dyfr.febc.ph And uh, you can also watch us live. That's through our Facebook live streaming. So, check us out sa facebook.com slash 98.7 dyfrfm And uh, as always, we do encourage you to uh, send us messages that bring inspiration and motivation to bangaita sa pagdasig sa matagosa. So, uh, you can do that by, by texting me. Atong uh, uh, mobile number is 0919-492-1939. Pwede po na ni mong isend sa atong Facebook page, facebook.com slash 98.7 DYFRFM. O kung na kay Twitter account, ug active ka sa Twitter, you can uh, tweet me. Atong uh, Twitter handle is at 987DYFRFM. Alright? Keep your messages coming in sa akong pagbalik at unang sugdan o basa. So make sure to uh, stay tuned on this FEBC radio. Let's grant these uh, back-to-back requested songs. Ikaw ang gugma by The Fresh Start and Sayaw sa Ginoo by JILBGH. Check your time. It's now 1.50 in the afternoon.
sa pagdai ko sa pagsimba tungod sa guma ko di hakani mo ikaw akong pagaunahon sa tanang butang ni kalibutan tingu ako ang pagsunod kani mo lamang kay ikaw ang Dios nga nagmuna sa langit ko sa Magandang kita. Mataas kasi ang demand sa mga kasing bata ko. Lalo na sa mga foreigners. 
At dito lang naman ang webcam sa bahay eh. So, kahit anong oras pa sila tumawag, masasagot ko. Wala masyadong free time. Kung hindi ako nakatutok sa webcam, naglalaba ako, o kaya nagluluto. Hmm, ganun nga siguro pag single child. Ikaw lahat. Pangarap mo lang naman bigyan sila ng magandang buhay. Hmm. Nakakapangilabot, di ba? Lalo na ang pagdami ng magulang na nagbubugaw ng sariling anak sa internet. Kung may alam ka, itawag agad sa 021343. Kapag hindi mo isinumbong, para ka na rin sumang-ayon. Panawagan mula sa Interagency Council Against Child Pornography. Pinoy Sessions
requested song Tu Pangligao by Maru Cepeda Javier. The kan salamat for keeping it here on Pinoy Sessions, your daily dose of Pinoy encouragement on 98.7 DYFRFM, your FEBC radio in Cebu City. Gail here joining you till 3.30 p.m. Philippine time. And as uh, promised, ato nga basaw ng inyong mga messages. But uh, let me say hi first to uh, our uh, greeters. Hi to you, Jeff of the Now Cebu, Ma'am Virgie Matinao, and uh, to our Facebook friend watching in Riyadh, uh, KSA or Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I think yung name Jimmy, no niya. Gibali lang sa Facebook. Hi to you, Jimmy. Tagang salamat sa pagpaminaw. Hi also to you, Sir Arnel Dolatre, who says, magandang hapon po, isang mapagpalang araw sa lahat. Hi to all the CBC students. Yes, good afternoon and uh, happy watching and happy listening to uh, all of you. Sir Dennis Xavier is listening from San Pablo City, Laguna at Jan Jeff Telecom and he says hi to Ma'am Janice Bartolome, to Jeff Bartolome, Mary Ann Dianola, Ordeonela, Ronaline Lagidao, Joan Montuya and again, dagang salamat sa inyong pag uh, paminaw. Jelly Chong shares 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things of are passed away. Behold, new things have come. No, a reminder for us and something upon din mong pamalandungon karong hapuna. na. Dexter 4273 shares this message. You will have problems. I will have a problem. But the sure word from God is this. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. So Psalm 3419. So all, not just 50%, not even 99%, but 100%. So that's a great assurance. Salamat, texter 4273. Sir Elmer Makila and Maing Hapon from Cebu City. He is uh, watching and listening. Gikan sa Dallas City, California, USA. We are uh, super thankful no, sa imo nga kanuna nga pagsuporta sa station. Maing Hapon, Sir Nest. Sir Nestor uh, Sumikad, Aloha Sin Senior. Thank you also for dropping by. Also to you, Chris Visto, no? Sa sa itong mga suking tig paminaw. Nag-share of Ephesians 1.16. I do not cease to uh, give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. The Apostle Paul wrote prayers to encourage other believers. He uh, wrote to the Ephesians. Uh, the verse that I just read, I do not cease to uh, give thanks. Thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So do you have friends or family members who need your prayers of encouragement right now? Besides letting them know that you are praying for them, try sending a written prayer as well. No, Gikotnia. Chrissy Dennis Fisher. So that's a great suggestion. No, you can do that. Kung uh, labi na ako na kay mga amigo, amiga, mga kaparintihan, classmate or colleague nga nagkinahanglan o pagdasi karun. This is uh, one way of encouraging them, writing a prayer for them. All right, Ma'am Lean, Pangilinan, it's always good to uh, hear from you. Salamat for letting us know nga ikaw na minaw karong hapuna. Also to you, uh, John Rodriguez. Salamat po for tuning in. Hi to you, Precious May. Des Pues. Salamat for tuning in all the way from Manila. It's good to hear from you again. And uh, yes, I've taken note of your uh, song request already. All right, Philippine Standard Time is now 2.08 in the afternoon. Padalang yapun sa pag paminaw. Let's grant this requested song, People Need the Lord by Gary Valenciano, followed by the Dilo for Amahan Salangit. Yeah. 
98.7 BYFRFM, the life-changing radio. Be with us the whole day as we bring you encouraging words and music. Here's how you can listen. Set your radio dial to 98.7 on the FM band. Tune in through your mobile phones, as most phones have FM radio features. Or listen online over dyfr.febc.ph. Keep it here on 98.7 DYFR-FM, the life-changing radio. People are listening for a word from God. We hold forth a clear message for these seekers. We want to thank you for your support as we hold forth the message of the healing power of God for a nation in need of His message of love. That enables us to keep the message clear and strong from 98.7 FRFM.
by the EMX. This is Pinoy Sessions on the life-changing radio 98.7 DYFRFM. We are broadcasting live from Emmanuel Bible College Compound, Banawa Hills, Cebu City. Philippine Standard Time is now 2.23 in the afternoon. Higala on saman ng mga bakak ang nagipang suti dihan ni mo sa kaaway. No ingon pa sa Facebook page sa kinabuhing Kristuhanon, kita dapat ang mamahimong bagyo sa gingharian ni Satan. Nga sa panahon nga muatake siya nato, siya na mismo ang muataras. Pero mahimo lang tang bagyo igsoon kung ang kusog nga gigamit nato kay dili ang atua, kung dili ang kusog nga nagikan sa ginoo. So always remember this, for apart from God, we can do nothing. Let that be a reminder nga dili ta sa atong kaugalingong kusog mo salig pero sa Ginoo region no karon ug sa kanunay Again, thank you Kayo for allowing us to uh, spend time with you this uh, Monday afternoon and uh, do know that this station 98.7 DYFR FM is purely listener supported. We rely solely on God's people out of Mamit and needs a ministry. So uh, if you believe God is uh, touching your heart to be one of our financial partners, feel free to uh, call us up to know how. Atong landline number is 254-1714. Again, that's 254 254- one seven one four. All right. Keep it here on this FEBC radio in Cebu City. Here is another requested song, Sayo Kita by the Augmented Seventh, followed by Chedi Fidel for Beyond the Glassy Sea.
Hinoy Sessions.
Mahilig ba ka o Pinoy music? Ganahan ba ka ang mamadasi? Nadiri ang imong gipangita. Pinoy Sessions, matag alauna imedia hanggang alas tres imedia sa hapon, diri lang sa 98.7 DYFR FM. Do you know what to do when you hear these sounds? Memorize important emergency numbers now. Go to www.cebu.gov.ph slash Cebu Must Be Ready. A message from 98.7 DYFRFM, the life-changing radio. 98.7 
Ikaurabay Jemuel of UPC Mandawe. You heard that first here on Pinoy Sessions, your daily dose of Pinoy encouragement. I'm Gail, your host on this program. And we have more messages from you. Good afternoon, Sir John Rodriguez, watching from Yucaipa, California, USA. Enjoy the rest of your day. At Giselle Kasani says hello to the Living Water Christian Fellowship family and to uh, the Jesus Reigns family. I know you guys are busy right now so god bless uh, in yung uh, preparations my hapon sir alvin bunghanoy and uh, he says uh, good pm am gail ug sa tanang naminaw pagganay sa awit para sa dios manganta ngadto kang jesus para na atay uh, okay nang share po chug john 146 salamat sir alvin for uh, tuning in this afternoon good afternoon to you as well sir leo sura it's good to hear from you enjoy the rest of your Monday afternoon. We have here another passage and another message. Hi DJ, good afternoon. I want to share my favorite verses. A Psalm chapter 91 verses 14 to 16. Ang Dios nag-ingon, luwason ko kadtong nahigugma kanako ug panalipdan ko kadtong miila sa ako ngalan. Sa dihang sangpiton ako nila, tubagon ko sila. Maguban ako kanila sa dihang sila anaa sa kalisdanan, luwason ko sila ug pasidunggan. Gantihan ko sila taas nga kinabuhi og luwason ko gayud si lagi ka ni Ma'am Rose Salva of Bohol. Salamat Ma'am Rose for dropping by and uh, sa imong kanunay nga pagpaminaw ani nga station may God continually bless you as well. All right, atong oras alas 2:42 sa hapon we still have more inspiring OPMs for you just like this next song Pagkagamhanan mo by the TJ FM worship team. Stay tuned. Katauhan ugang kalangitan Kinsa man kini Nga Diyos Ipahunong mo ang mga manong Ihugasan among
FEBC Radio. 98.7 DYFRFM, the life changing radio. Be with us the whole day as we bring you encouraging words and music. Here's how you can listen. Set your radio dial to 98.7 on the FM band. Tune in through your mobile phones, as most phones have FM radio features. Or listen online over dyfr.febc.ph. Keep it here on 98.7 DYFR-FM, the life-changing radio. Afternoons are inspiring here on 98.7 DYFR-FM, the life-changing radio. Indeed, afternoons are more inspiring with your life-changing radio, 98.7 DYFRFM. Here is something you might be interested in. One thing, Philippines invites church creatives ministry teams to a training and workshop called Marketing in the 21st Century. This aims to help churches gain more formal training in the area of communication and design. The training is scheduled on October 14 and 21, 2017. These are Saturdays, 1 to 5 p.m. at the Church of Our King, Queensland Manor, Raman Road, Zapatera, Cebu City. Topics include Marketing 101 with Workshop and Visual Communication. For inquiries, contact the Lenny Leal at 255-5012 or 0928-507-2020. Padalang gihapon sa pag-tune in sa Pinoy Sessions, your daily dose of Pinoy encouragement as we continue to fill the air with uplifting OPMs. Here now is the victory band for the song Ang Pulong Mo, followed by Yan Asuncion for Akala Ko'y Wala Nang Pag-asa. Check your time, it's now 2.50 in the afternoon. At dunay panahon na ako mag-auga sa akong pagsimba kani mo o Diyos ko Kung akong hinungduman ang mga nabuhat mo dili ko makapugo pagdai kani mo
Pinoy Sessions. Different vision, a different mission. We have a message that is life changing. Here now is the program, The President's Report. 
Dan Andrew Kura updates us of the work of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines and shares how we too can be part of this ministry of bringing Christ to the world by radio. A very pleasant day to all our listeners. Here's some trivia for you. Did you know that this is a very special week for our Chinese friends and for us here at FEBC as well? I'll tell you the connection in a short while. October 1 actually is the anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China and the whole week is called the Golden Week when so many of them travel all around the country especially because October 4 is also the Mid-Autumn Festival. On this day, the moon is at its fullest and biggest. Next to the Chinese New Year, this is the most important festival for the Chinese. This is the time when we get to taste different varieties of mooncake. So we join in the joy and excitement of our Chinese friends in all the celebrations and activities going on this week. This is Dan Andrew, your friend, and I welcome you to our program, The President's Report. Early last month, as monster hurricane Irma was about to make a landfall in Florida in the United States, the White House social media director tweeted a video. It was supposedly about the flooding at the Miami International Airport as the typhoon was pounding in the area. Some 30 minutes later, the tweet was deleted after airport authorities clarified that the photo and information were not about the Miami International Airport. It turns out it was about what was happening in the airport in Mexico last August. The media called it fake news. But this is not the only case of wrong information reported by the media in the United States. In fact, since President Trump assumed office, he has already been confronted with this issue. Even for his inauguration in January last year, his press office released a different figure on the number of people who graced the occasion. This gave birth to the phrase, alternative facts. And when the United States president was criticized for how he and his officials have been giving out wrong information and what others called falsehoods, he in turn also charged certain media organizations as breakers of fake news themselves. Fake news. This is now becoming a buzzword all over the world. In Myanmar, observers are wondering whether the country's de facto leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, is in touch with the realities that the Rohingya tribe is facing. They claim she gave out wrong information when she delivered a speech last week to address the plight of this persecuted tribe. But at this time, Aung San Suu Kyi also explained that tensions were being fanned by fake news promoting the interest of the terrorists. It is sad that here in our country, we are faced with a similar situation. Our president and certain government officials on the one hand and the media on the opposite are accusing each other of propagating lies and erroneous facts. Last month, the president signed a bill that will lead to higher penalties for citizens that commit a number of varying crimes, including publishing what the country's government considers fake news. Also recently, the Presidential Communications Operations Office, led by Secretary Martin Andanar, requested an additional 245 million peso budget intended for what he calls a literacy program versus fake news. This unfortunate situation finds its way to Pilate's question. What is truth? If you recall, this was when he presented Jesus Christ to the Jews before our Lord suffered death by crucifixion more than 2,000 years ago. It was certainly not about fake news or lies in news reporting, but at the core of his question was not really a desire to find out the truth, just a way to say he simply didn't care. 
It was his response to a claim Christ made a few verses before that in John chapter 18, verse 37. I have come into this world to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. Jesus Christ is not only the way to the Father, he is also the truth. What this means to us is, every day we need to live a life characterized by what is true from all the voices around us, be it in our relationships, our business, our work, school, our principles, our conversations. We should always speak out and speak for the truth. No wonder this is the first in the list of what the Apostle Paul said we need to dwell on, found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. As all these talks about fake news, lies, misinformation, and wrong information are going on, I can't help but think about all of the FEBC stations and the programs that we air. So do pray for FEBC that all our broadcasts will reflect God's character of truth that will bring glory to Him and comfort for all who are disappointed, living in truth as they listen to the programs. And even for our news and current affairs programs, let's pray that listeners will be inspired and encouraged by the hope that everything is under God's control and sovereignty. As we end the program today, I'd like to invite you to pray this prayer found in Psalm 25, 4 to 6. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your friend Dan Andrew here, and you've just listened to The President's Report. You've just listened to The President's Report. This program has been brought to you by Far East Broadcasting Company, Philippines, and 98.7 DYFRFM, the life-changing radio. If you want to be a partner in prayer or through other means, please call 650-0859 and look for Ms. Asmin Rojas or Cyril Delfino. You may also visit our website at www.febc.ph. Thank you very much, and may God bless you for your partnership in the gospel.
by Carla Martinez. We are back here on Pinoy Sessions, your daily dose of Pinoy encouragement on the life-changing radio, 98.7 DYFRFM. I'm Gail, your host on board. Atong oras, alas 13, sa hapon, isun. Ngit-ngit ba ang dalan nga imong giagian karun? Kanang wakay makita tungod sa kangit-ngit. Hinumdumi ni Nino na dili maswayan ang atong pagtuo kung okay ang dagan sa kinabuhi. So what if nagfag na ang dalan nga puro na lang aso ang makita nato o naa sa tunnel nga astangit ngita nga halos dili na nato makita ang tumuy sa dalan no panahon na para mudako ang pagtuo nato sa Dios. Dili na nimo kinahang nang makita ang dalan kung kibaw ka kung nasayod ka nga kauban nimo ang nagbuhat sa dalan. God o make a way. Kung sa magani imo gipang agian karon, if you think thi- things are so dark and you're carrying the world on your shoulders, salig lang sa atong Ginoo. All right, uh, we uh, have another uh, greeting here from Sir Jun Pakiao of Broome, Western Australia. He says, "Hi DJ, and to all the staff of the Life Changing Radio, I'd like to uh, greet my wife Maria Jocelyn Pakiao." And a belated happy anniversary by September 30. Yes, greetings also to the N and GCA family, to the Rama Church, Maranatha Church, San Asipit, to Pastor Joel Dumanon and family. And uh, yes, that's it. Thank you so much, Sir June Pacquiao, sa imong pag-tune in. And hi to my high school classmate, Jan, Jan Delmar Now Sigia. Thank you so much for dropping by. All right, keep it here on this FEBC radio. Here now is the Ablaze Band for the song, Aniako. Yeah. 
Do you have a prayer concern? We would like to help lift it up to our God in prayer. Call us up at 254-1714. Text us at 0919-49-21939 or message us on facebook.com forward slash 98.7 DYFRFM. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understandings, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So I We're here all day, every day, with songs that'll give you a lift.
Ikaw ang simbahon by the Rema Band. This is the Life Changing Radio 98.7 DYFRFM. Good afternoon, Ma'am Rosaline Descano and Ma'am Jojeline Godin. Salamat kayo for joining us this Monday afternoon. All right, that's it for two hours of uplifting OPMs. Salamat kayo sa pag-aw ba na ako karong hapuna? Ginaot pa na himong mahinung dano ng imong kapunon ka o ba na DYFR? This has been Gail for Pinoy Sessions. Coming up next is the program cruising that's with Dan Andrew Gura make sure to stay tuned for that god bless you guys ug amping kanunay mm-hmm.